Hello. In this video, we are going to start our advanced level examples, functions, and mm, we are going to look first the advanced usage of the lookup function. And from this video onwards, we are going to use also the previous functions, previous formula. So if you are not familiar with these functions, please watch our previous videos first. Okay, let's see what we mean advanced in VLOOKUP. Okay, we have two different examples and let's look at the first one. The first question is we have students. We have their scores and we want them, we want to find their grades according to this score and grade legend. So there are intervals here and for each interval we have a grade as you may remember from your school times. Okay, if we wrote VLOOKUP choosing our score, choosing our legend and choosing the second column to find the grade if we wrote an exact match it will give an error to us because 81 does not exist in score and grade uh, legend but VLOOKUP can also find an approximate match which we can just write one and let it find the uh, closest grade. Actually, not the closest, but it looks the interval. It looks for the interval. So even though this was 89, it will give the B grade, as you see here, until it hits 90. And from 90 onwards, it will give A grade. So let's just copy and paste our formulas. Okay, now we have the students and their grades. The, by the continue of this question, it also asks us how many students for each grade. Okay, we can use count if function for this question. I take my grade. Sorry, I am going to. So for, first, I am going to select my range, fix it. Then I am going to select my criteria, which is grade, and. I just copy and paste and I see it and you see I fixed this range so it doesn't move but I did not fix my criteria so it moves so always be careful with your relative and absolute references okay this kind of information can also be used in um, bell curves in mathematics so you can make a bell curve for which uh, grades have been taken the most by counting them up. Okay, in the second question, we are going to use the VLOOKUP function again, but this time we we will need then a helper column. What is a helper column? You may uh, heard it in the forums and in the web for sometimes searching for Excel issues. And let's see our case. We have person, and we have their years of sales. So Kate in 2016 had 30. 4,000 uh, sales and 2017 still Kate have another sales so we want to find a sales of a person and a year but we cannot write a direct lookup here because if we take the person it will just take the first row if we write the year it will take the first row so we, we won't be able to find the um, correct combination we have to combine them first so we open up a new column here this ref if this is a helper column actually it's called we just combine person and year and i copy and paste my formula actually this doesn't mean anything this will just going to help us to find our sales for the person and the year how it's going to be used okay you may remember from the VLOOKUP case, when we write VLOOKUP, we can combine some tags, some values, some tags in our lookup table. So that is what we are going to do now. Combine person and year in the lookup value. And then look our table now. Don't forget to fix that. And this is our look at value so one two three four i want sales so fourth column and 
this is going to be an exact match this time I leave it like zero and you see the now says count for 2017 if this was 2016 this is going to change like this okay let's check our answers and it seems okay thanks for watching and in the next video we are going to check some if and and function combinations so keep following